my name is Carl Johan Utzi. I belong to the indigenous Sami people of the northern Scandinavia. I grew up in a reindeer herding family and we use almost everything from the reindeer. The meat, the hide for clothing, the fur, the bones, the antlers for handicraft. Even today when we're living a very modern livestock, the reindeer is essential to the Sami people. I would love to be a vegetarian, but nothing grows here. These reindeer were gathered in this forest. They have like walked away from their areas. We're just kind of sorting them out and getting them to the right place. They got the reindeer. <laughs> so this is stray reindeer. So we're just dropping off the reindeer here and there and then the owners will come and pick them up and take them to their herd. It's very dangerous. It's considered Sweden's most dangerous profession. So that's it. Hello. Can I can I ask you about your pet? Yes, you can. Uh, what's his name? Yes. He's not have a name. He doesn't have a name. No, you have you have to name it. Oh, I'll name it. <laughs> yeah, you name it. What's his name? I don't know. Whitehead. Whitehead. Hello, Whitehead. Uh, I'm trying now to train him. Is it hard to train a reindeer? Uh, not him. He follow me easy. Uh, it's so soft. Well, thank you very oh, much. Okay. Good luck with the training. <laughs> bye bye. These are birch roots. Uh, that I gathered from the forest. They're made for cheese. Traditionally, you would press the cheese so the food would go out through these holes. You can buy cheese nowadays <laughs> at the store, so not so many people do their own cheese. This is uh, traditional Sami fast food. It's uh, reindeer meat and it's smoked, salted and air dried. Perfect, you're natural. Chilla, chilla. What the? Chilla. We are in my backyard. We have some reindeers here. The smaller black one we took home because she was really, really sick and almost died and actually saved her life. And this is lichen that we are giving them. This grows in the forest. It's like candy. It's a lot of sugar in it and it's a really good food for the reindeer. We're in the kitchen with my mother. You have the reindeer blood dumplings and the boiled back. This is a reindeer tongue. You boil it with the meat. The dessert is uh, cloudberries that we pick every autumn. That's a typical meal, super healthy. Good, good. Gonna eat some tongue. It's actually very mild. You should not eat the tip of the tongue. The tip of the tongue you give to the dogs because uh, you start to lie otherwise. <laughs> so, welcome to my man cave, aka office. When I'm not hurting the reindeer, then I do photography and uh, filming a little bit. So today we're gonna shoot Kobe, put some clothes on her, traditional Sami clothes. I use Sony of course, with this 40 millimeter Sigma art lens that I'm in love right now. Let's go. Hello. Hello and welcome to us. 
Who's this? We have four bikes, and but they are all grown up. And we will work here today. The outfit is like definitely so warm. I think it's warmer than my modern clothes. Okay, lift the chin. It's my son. He's going snowmobiling now. He doesn't want the scarf? No. Starting to be in that age, everything has to be look cool. Looking cool age. They grow up before you know it. As you can see, we're filling up pellets. It's reindeer food. We're gonna have to buy hundreds of tons this uh, year because of the climate change. So the reindeer eat from the ground, lichen, and due to the climate change you get these warm periods in the middle of the winter, like today and yesterday it was raining, and uh, when it freezes back up it will be very hard packed snow and ice, which makes it impossible for the reindeer to reach the food which, are, which is on the ground below the snow. So we have to give them extra food. I mean, the future for radio herding is grim. I think this is, uh, I am probably the last generation of radio herders. That's sad, but true. Usually this time of year, it, this should be very fluffy white powder, which is easy to dig through for a reindeer with their feet. The reindeer life is, is still a good life, but it's really, starting to get hard now. The uncertainty of the winter conditions are, are very challenging. I do not want to give up reindeer herding. It's like honoring my ancestors. It's something that rooted really deep within you. In a way, you don't have a choice. You just have to go to the end of the path. We're back now in the main city here, it's Lulia. And the weather is completely different. Way too warm. It's like uh, five, six degrees. We've got some people here trying to enjoy what's left of the ice. Yeah, I mean, it's changed since I was a kid. When I was a kid, it felt like it was colder. We brought our friends, they are from uh, Peru, to show them the winter in Lulia. So it's a little bit disappointing for them, I think. The snow doesn't really stay the way it used to. Winter doesn't really stay the way it, it used to. So anyway, I don't want to end on a downer note. This was an amazing trip. We saw some amazing things. And I'm so glad that I got to see Swedish Lapland in the perfect winter wonderland conditions before everything melted like it is now. So go out there and enjoy your winter, and I'll see you in the next vlog.